Hi guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I've got another video answer to a question from a viewer in the comments. Remember, if I answer your question with a video response, then I'll send you a free copy of my book, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide. Now today's question comes from RC Joe. He's got a battery that he wants to add a capacity meter to, but he doesn't want to open it up to get to the connections on the inside. So he's asking if he can just add a capacity meter in through the charge connector. Now the, the short answer is no, it's not going to work. Your charge connector, um, you can actually use it to, to take voltage out of your battery. Um, it doesn't have, most of the time, it doesn't have a diode or anything to block voltage coming out. That means that you can actually use that for a, uh, a small amount of output. You, know, you don't want to pull huge amounts of power from there because it usually just has a smaller MOSFET. But a lot of people use the charger port for running lights um, or other accessories that um, either run off of the full pack voltage or they drop it down to 12 volts. The problem is you're not going to be able to use a, uh, a capacity meter on the, charge, uh, on, the, on the charge port because you're not going to have any uh, discharge to your motor flowing through the charge port. But what you can do is you can add a capacity meter in series with your uh, battery to uh, motor and controller connection. I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. There's sort of the, the cheap way and then there's the more expensive but nicer and more convenient way. So I'll show you the cheap way first. Now the cheap and, and fairly simple way is to add a uh, cheap watt meter like this one. This is a Turnigy meter. There's also the um, watts up meter which I think was one of the original ones that got copied a lot. Um, and these things cost anywhere from like you know 15 bucks up to maybe like 30 bucks. Um, so they're pretty cheap, and they're very simple. There's a source side and there's a load side. And the idea is that the source side you plug in to your battery, and the load side you plug into your controller. So on your e-bike, somehow your battery is connected to your uh, electronic speed controller. It's going to be different for every e-bike, but somehow there's a connection there. So you would simply find that connection, and you would plug in line the, uh, the meter. So you just disconnect it, plug the source into the battery, plug the load into the controller. Um, if you do it at the location, you're not going to be able to read the, the watt meter to know how, uh, how much power you're using, how much capacity you've currently used, but you can extend these wires out and put this up on your handlebars. Um, it's a little less elegant of a solution because then you've got four big wires. You do need to use fairly thick wires, uh, anything that's going to be big enough to carry the power in your e-bike. You know, if you've got a low power e-bike, you can probably get away with like 14 gauge or so. Um, if you've got a more high power e-bike, you, you need to go up to like 12 gauge or even 10 gauge for real high power stuff. Uh, but this is a very simple solution and it'll allow you to measure exactly how much capacity you've used from your battery. Now a better solution, but uh, a little more expensive, is to use a cycle analyst. Now a cycle analyst is sort of the um, the standard of the industry for uh, watt meters. This is produced by Grin Technologies in Vancouver, Canada. It's a really nice setup. Um, not only does it give you uh, the capacity of your battery, but it'll also measure um, distance. Um, you can use the newer ones, the, the version 3, to uh, control all sorts of interesting limiting options. Um, I use mine to control two different motors on my e-bike, so I plug my throttle directly into the cycle analyst and um, it can then control two speed controllers and two motors, one in each wheel, on my bike. So there's a lot these things can do. Um, there's two different versions. This is the kind that plugs directly into your controller, so your controller would need a special port for it. Um, but there's another kind called the Cycle Analyst Standalone, or the CASA, that comes with an external shunt. And the external shunt is the important part. Uh, I don't have one here with me right now, so I'll show you a picture up here. But the external shunt is the part that you're going to plug in uh, just like you would have plugged in the original watt meter in between your battery and your controller. So the way it works again is you're just going to find that connection between your battery and controller, you're going to disconnect it, and in its place you're going to plug in the uh, external shunt. One side of the battery, one to the controller, and then from that external shunt there's going to be a single wire that's going to run up to your cycle analyst. That way you can put your cycle analyst up on your handlebars and you can read it while you're riding. You can know exactly how much capacity you used from your battery and you can have all your data right there in front of you. It's a, just a really elegant solution and um, it's the one that, that I use on basically all of my e-bikes. Uh, it's a little costly. I think these start somewhere around um, $120, I think. 
uh, and then they go up from there depending on the model. Um, but you can get them from ebikes.ca in Canada or they've got like uh, I think 50 different vendors around the world. So you probably have one closer to you if you don't want to pay for shipping from Canada. Um, so just search around for it. I'll put some links in the description both to the watt meter and to the cycle analyst. But that's the way if you want to measure the actual capacity of your battery that you do it. You use a watt meter that's plugged in series between your motor, I'm sorry, between your battery and your controller. All right, thank you very much for the question, uh, RC Engine Joe. Shoot me a private message via YouTube and I will send you a paperback copy of my uh, ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and if you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. If I answer your question and I make a video response for it, then I will send you a copy of my book. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, let me know that I did a good job. And uh, if you want to get more videos like these when I produce them, you can go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like, and then you'll get a notification when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day.